What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has already started rolling out the One UI 6.1 for the Galaxy S22 series. I got the S22 Ultra here. And as many of you guys have requested me to share the battery performance results, here it is, I will be sharing the screen on time on this phone. And you will be in for a surprise in this video because the battery performance has really improved on this device after the One UI 6.1 update. Now you can see the current battery is just 5% left here on the phone because I've been testing this phone since yesterday morning. It's a real life battery test results not a studio test result so this will give you a realistic result of the battery performance uh, or let's say the screen on time now as i said this is just five percent left now because i charged the phone in the morning yesterday at around 9 9 30 a.m and it has lasted more than a day which is fantastic and i hope i will be able to finish this video with just five percent left on the phone it has already gone into the power saving mode now because the battery is quite low uh, now, I have tested the phone in only one setting that is in full HD plus display with optimized uh, performance mode. Let me show you that. Let's go to the setting under uh, device care and under processing speed. I had selected optimized option, not on high or maximum options. Then when it comes to the display, uh, let me open display here. The motion smoothness was set to adaptive 120 hertz and the screen mode was vivid. The dark mode was turned on and the screen resolution you can see this is in full HD plus display not in QHD plus. And I had also turned off the always on display. I generally don't use the always on display. Under lock screen and AOD I had turned off the always on display. Now let's go ahead and check out the screen on time. Let's open the settings. Let's tap on battery. Now under battery you will be able to see two different options. One is uh, today. Uh, which will show you the battery performance of the screen on time between 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. And if you want to check out the screen on time since 100% uh, charge, then you can uh, select this option since last charge. Now you can see from 100% it is showing me the screen on time. And uh, when I tap on this, you will see the screen on time which is 7 hour 35 minutes and the screen off time is 15 hour 10 minutes. And this is with another 4% battery left. And this screen on time on a two year old device like the S22 Ultra seems to be pretty good because on this phone, the battery has always been an issue. We were getting around five to six hours of screen on time on a moderate usage. Now after One UI 6.1 update, we have got more than seven hours of screen on time, which is just fantastic. As you can see the usage here, the YouTube was consumed for two hours, Prime Video for one and a half hour. Uh, the uh, PUBG was played for about one hour and I've used the camera for 28 minutes. I was shooting 4K video continuously for 28 minutes. Uh, so I have used the camera also extensively. Then I have made a call for about uh, half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, when you are home, YouTube Studio for 33 minutes, WhatsApp for just about five minutes. Uh, Google Play services has consumed very less uh, battery here. That is good to see here. And then we've got Instagram, System UI, Google News, and many other applications here. Now, if you reduce the media consumption, of course, the screen on time might go down. So be wary of that. The more you consume the media, the more screen on time you're going to get because the medias will run on 60 hertz display, not on 120 hertz, like the other apps like Google News, Instagram, Facebook, etc. So keep that in mind. Now, uh, this screen on time may vary depending on your usage. Now, I have used the phone on Wi-Fi network, not on a cellular network, not on 4G or 5G. So on Wi-Fi, I've got seven and a half hours of screen on time. And if I use the power saving mode, I can probably increase the screen on time by another one, one and a half hour, which will be about eight and a half to nine hours. And if I use the phone in QHD display, then the screen on time might go down by at least an hour or maybe half an hour. So we will still get about six and a half to seven hours of screen on time. So this is great. A better screen on time on a two year old device after One UI 6.1 update. And as far as the status and lags are concerned, even that has improved. There is no status or lags that I'm noticing on the device. Uh, the phone is performing really well. The battery is performing really well. What else we want on this device? Now, thanks to Samsung for reviving this phone. This is what we really wanted on a two year old phone like this. And we have got what we really wanted on One UI 6.1. Along with some brand new features, we've got better battery performance and uh, no lags and stutter. Now, if we compare the screen on time with the S23 Ultra or S24 Ultra, those those phones are getting close to about eight and a half hours of screen on time with similar kind of usage. Uh, just one hour less for a two year old device like this and a notorious uh, chipset that we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Uh, this seems to be pretty good on this device. Now you guys let me know what is your screen on time that you're getting. I read a few comments in my previous uh, videos where I discussed about the One UI 6.1 features on this device. Uh, you guys mentioned that the battery performance has gone down and some of you guys mentioned that the battery performance has actually improved. So you let me know how is your battery 
factory performance in the comment section. Now, one more thing to note here is I did a factory reset on this phone and perhaps that has also helped increase the screen on time or improve the battery performance on the device. So I suggest you guys to go ahead and do a factory reset so that you get better performance on this phone and better battery life on this phone. So before we do the factory reset, what you can do is you can just go to the settings. Let's tap on general management. I will tap on reset. Now before resetting, you get these options, temporary cloud backup, external storage backup. So if you want to do an external storage backup, you can do that using a USB storage device or an SD card. Uh, the easiest way to update your uh, data is using this temporary cloud backup. Samsung provides unlimited data backup on the cloud for up to 30 days, which is just insane. So use this feature, backup your device, and uh, then reset the phone. I can promise you guys, the phone is going to do much better if you reset your phone. So go ahead and do that and do not forget to let me know your screen on time in the comment section. Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.